five frames and one more thing you know i wanted to say was like about religion there are lot of historical you know statements from muslim accounts because you know muslim accounts were always you know very exaggerated even when they fought with christians you know they had very exaggerated accounts but actually if you look at our history through a realistic perspective there were many many states that they were not able to capture there were many of the kings that had allied with them and uh, muslims never had uh, complete control over india that's why only 4% of the population or 5% of the population uh, turned into muslim population of course those women they had too done too many atrocities on women killing their children raping them cutting their breasts and you know making a uh, making a garland out of it and then putting it in their heads and islam in itself you know when the prophet muhammad speaks i think that person has a personality of hatred and lust that is the you know that is the what do i say building blocks of islam that lust and hatred because they say kill everybody all of it's written you see chop off their hands cut off their legs behead them all hatred is written in written into it and all lust that if you die doing what islam preaches then you will reach heaven there will be 72 virgins and your dick will always be erect over there and you know they would want to have sex with you all the time so this is this is the this is the this is the fruit of doing jihad what is the fruit the fruit is sex so this is what drives them sex so the basic bo- blocks of islam are two things one is lust and the second thing is being a killer so if you follow islam then there are two things that will always be there and um, you know i do understand that you know that many 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 of the people who follow islam you know their their personalities are quite different so you know we cannot say that you know that we cannot look into the personalities of people because uh, in the name of uh, you know uh, insaniyat you know we have to look at people differently so that is there and uh, i personally don't believe in this religion or i even don't prefer believe in prophet muhammad i think he was very very clever kind of person who married an old woman who used everything to his advantage to gather money to gather you know resources and you know plunder everything still they have like they are females you know what is the value of a female in islam nothing they are just objects that are bought and sold that is what is written and that is what it is practiced in the middle east as well that they are just objects to be bought and sold 